for quite a while now I've been keeping in my fridge two adult tarantulas that died. One is my relatively young Hilobrachis fimbriatus. At least when I bought her I was told that it is a kind of young female. I kept her for about a year, maybe more. She rejected the food for like two or three times and I was sure that she's ready to molt but one day I found her in dead curl not a complete dead curl but she began to dead curl and I really don't know why because she was well hydrated she always had water I regularly moist the enclosure so I didn't know why and after a few days she just died so yeah I was pretty bummed about it I didn't even make a video because I don't know I didn't even record it so I just put her in the fridge and let it be there. The other tarantula that I had in my fridge, now here, it is a mature male, Pecilateria metallica. And there is a funny story regarding this male, because originally I trade my Brachypelma opilosum, the female that I parried, but this male that I got immediately showed signs of DKS. His movement was weird and he couldn't really climb or really couldn't even walk straight. His feet were everywhere. So after a few days he passed away. The guy that I traded this tarantula with said that it is a fresh male and that it was normal when he had it, but I don't know. I'm a bit skeptical. So anyway I told him that the male died and showed him a photo and he was all right with bringing me back my female. So I also put him in the fridge and he was sitting there for maybe a year also. I don't know. I don't I don't remember dates very well. So now I decided to try and preserve him. It will be my first attempt, so don't expect much, but it doesn't look really complicated. Apparently you need to cut the abdomen, take stuff out and also you need to cut under the carapace and get stuff out. And also what I saw that you can pull wires through the legs and that way you can get pose like thread posture or, or something similar. But I just want to put him in a regular pokey stance. I hope that I don't need wires because I don't even have them. Anyway, I will open our abdomen. I mean first I will I will fixate him so he won't move. Okay, we'll see if that will be enough. So now you need to make a straight cut on the abdomen. <laughs> Let's try not to mess anything. Hmm, this is not this not sharp enough. Know that this was sitting in a in a freezer for a year, so. If you are doing this on fresh tarantula, I mean freshly dyed tarantula, it may be a bit different. I'm having a hard time. Maybe I should make a bit a little hole first and then start from there. My hands are a bit shaky. I think I wouldn't be a good surgeon. Oh, getting there. Nice. I'm so scared not to ruin it. His abdomen is really small. Maybe that's why it's a bit trickier. There we go. Okay, now I need some towel and tweezers. And you just... That's nasty. But it appears that there is really not much left inside. I guess couldn't decompose in the freezer, but it definitely seems as as it broke down a bit. Maybe I can I can grab a bit of tissue and try rub it. Okay, that did the trick.
Okay, I think I think I got most of it out. Looks pretty empty. Now I can fill it with cotton. So apparently you just make a cotton balls and stuff it. Not perfect, but looks pretty filled. I need super glue. Hope I have that here. This is an old one, but I have new in case this one is. There is more inside, but I can't get to it. It doesn't matter. I have this small one. still see the cut that's not what I want look check it out you can see the cut but it's not that bad now we need to cut this upper part so now I should cut this this round piece and get the stuff outside Not practical. I will try to do it in my hand. Ugh. Nope. This won't work. Maybe I need to make a hole once again. To start no the thing is I don't know how hard can I press because I really want this to succeed and I'm having a hard time I think I need a microphone on my somewhere here because for the most part I'm mumbling about stuff pretty hard to hear uh, yuck. Just a little more. Oh, well, look at that. Ew, that's really nasty. Ugh. There's so much stuff inside. It is really slow process. Well, I got most of it out. Now I will also fill it with cotton. This is not as easy as I expected. All right. Well, let's super glue that part back in place. That apparently worked. Oh my god, I'm handling a pokey. Ooh, this can be a good thumbnail. Okay, let's make a pose. A pokey stance. Now it's fixed. There we go. So that should be a pokey stance. So it took me one hour to make this. Now I need to leave it dry. I don't know how, how long. And then I'll be able to remove the pins and put it in some display case. We can compare it with my female mold. She's not that big. When you compare it, she's actually smaller than him. I mean, she was smaller. By the way, this is how I keep all the bigger molds that I managed to 
get in time. And that's it for today's video. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, make sure to thumbs up and comment. And if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I make videos every Friday at 9 p.m. That's Central European time. I write you somewhere in the screen what's the time on other parts of the world and also sometimes on monday i upload some random video so feel free to check that out i just noticed that you can see a bump on the abdomen but it's not a biggie bye, -bye, -bye, -bye.